everyone, it's Elizabeth with Twinkie TV and I'm here to do a recap of Sly and Single again or Conniving Single Lady episode number 11 and this is episode gets really good because Jungwoo and Sunghyun really start getting very competitive over their love or their very big interest in Naera. And Naera of course is Jungwoo's ex-wife and Jungwoo and Sunghyun are very close because Jungwoo used to tutor Sunghyun when he was younger, and also Sunghyun's father helped to kickstart Don't Talk, which is Jungwoo's like very successful internet company. So yeah, this is the episode where the two of them start getting very, very into Naira. Um, and I think that that's good, because Jungwoo is finally realizing everything that Naira went through during the whole time that they were together. Not everything, because you know, he still, like throughout the last part of the episodes, um, gets more and more of an idea of what laborious work that she did for him. And he's finally beginning to appreciate her, which, you know, I actually really think is a good thing. And Sunyan, of course, just adores her, Nada, because she's kind of his sidekick, his companion at work, and somebody who he just finds to be very spunky and different and not overwhelmed by the fact that he comes from a really rich family, he's good looking, so I think that there's a really good match in terms of why he really likes her. And of course, because of all the pressure from Jungwoo, from Sunghyun, and the kind of like the antagonistic second female lead, Yeojin, Nara is feeling like she wants to quit Don't Talk. She's not as happy and as you know satisfied working there anymore so she's kind of looking at different ways of getting out of the business and so that's kind of where she is she's not interested in Jungwoo at this time and she's definitely not interested in Su uh, Sunghyun even though he's been very good about pursuing her throughout these different episodes and then I think the highlight of this particular episode was the chicken fight or the cock fight, <laughs> the cock fight, literal and figuratively between Sunyan and Jungwoo. They go to the children's playground and Naira is like watching them and um, they're doing pull up contests. They're doing this like trying this like hopping thing where they're trying to knock each other over. And so it's actually pretty cute. And you know, at the end, uh, Naira is like, Jungwoo's a winner. <laughs> but the thing is, is that she actually walks off with Sunghyun, so in the end, it's almost like Sunghyun kind of wins, but so Jungwoo's a little bit put out, and what can he do? So what can he do is he kind of like does this fake dr fire drill to get closer to Naira. So like he's looking for her while the fire drill is going off, and she's kind of like, you know trying to get out of the building and so he grabs her and he goes to like it looks like the basement and they're kind of like um uh, not cowering but they're kind of like hiding and huddling together and he's getting close to her and he's like you know kind of just like you know he's just so enamored getting reacquainted getting back in love with her and Nada is just like oh my gosh you know is this really happening is this really going on when she figures out it was just a fake fire drill she not even it's a fire drill but uh Jungwoo was kind of making it bigger than it really is she's just kind of like knocks him back and I thought that was pretty funny and then the other big thing that happened in this episode is Nada's roommate along with Nada's brother burnt like a bunch, a big part of their apartment, so they needed a place to sit, stay. So Sunghyun, of course, being a very big gentleman, decided to let uh, Nada stay at his place, which is not something that Jungwoo likes. So, you know, actually, this is kind of like the turning point, or the last couple, the last two episodes were the turning points of this drama, where Jungwoo is really beginning to feel, um, fall back in love with his ex-wife, or Nada, because he realizes, you know, she went through so much while they were married, and she's not the conniving person that he once thought she was, but just a truly um, good wife to him, and somebody who was really there for him, and supporting him, and standing by him. And so, you know, I think just looking back, he realizes that he lost somebody that he was, that truly, truly loved him. and so. You know, I thought that that was kind of a really good part of this Korean drama. 
and I'm looking forward to it. I finished Emergency Couple and that was another um, couple that were together and kind of breaking up and then got back together again. And that was a really cute drama too. So I was watching so many dramas through January, February, March, April, and now that we're kind of at the, gosh, we're at the tail end of, where are we? Are we in, yeah, we're at the tail end of April and you know, I really like Secret Love Affair and that's like a Ajuma flower boy romance. Then another flower boy Ajuma romance just came up with Um Jungwa and it's called uh, Witch's Romance or something like that. And I don't know if I like that one as much as Secret Affair just because that one's so much more dark and twisted. 14 Days just ended. Um, gosh, there's just been so many. I was watching so many like longer 50 episode dramas and I didn't really want to talk about those because not a lot of people like them. And then also, what else? Bride of the Century stopped. Um, so there's been a lot of different dramas that I watched and now they're all kind of wrapping up. Empress Key, I kind of stopped watching that because it was like not holding my interest all the way through. But now that it's the last couple of episodes, I've been kind of like flipping through some of the episodes. So yeah, I am looking forward to some of the new and upcoming ones that are coming out, but still it's just kind of, nothing captured my heart as much as my love from another star. So I'm still kind of crossing my fingers that there's gonna be another one of those coming up. So we'll see. Anyways, hope you like this K-drama. Quick recap and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching, bye.